Hey, what a cute baby. But why is it crying? And it's crying vociferously in a shrill manner. When it's such a happy situation, happy moment for everybody around the baby, baby itself is crying. Why is that? Okay, let's try to understand why a baby cries vociferously at the time of birth or uh, immediately after birth and what are the challenges faced by a newborn baby. So basically, uh, this is about the neonatal physiology. When a baby is born, uh, there are two immediate threats or two immediate challenges. One is baby is likely to suffer from hypoxia and uh, the other one is hypothermia. Why is that? Look, uh, let's say why hypothermia. Baby was inside the uterus which was relatively a warm and moist environment and from that relatively warm and moist environment to the outer world as the baby is born, it's a relatively dry and cold atmosphere. So an immediate threat of hypothermia and the second one is hypoxia. Why is that? It's because inside the uterus the gas transfer was occurring across the placenta, the baby was dependent on the mother. And now, as the cord has been clamped and cut, now the baby has to breathe independently, acquire its own oxygen uh, by itself. So, uh, these two are the immediate threats. How does the baby overcome successfully these threats? What about the hypothermia? You know, the babies initially have that curled up posture like that. Uh, that decreases the surface area of the body so that the heat transfer from the body to the outside uh, will be minimized. And second is, there is shivering. Baby is contracting the thoracic cage muscles and crying. Also, there is shivering. All this generates heat in the body. So, uh, the baby is uh, facing that uh, cold environment and successfully overcomes or faces the challenge. And there is, of course, a brown adipose tissue in the babies, uh, which uh, is known to generate the heat. Uh, second is about the lungs. This question has been asked repeatedly. What is the pressure, intrapleural pressure or intrathoracic pressure at first breath? First breath or first cry of the neonate generates almost minus 60 centimeters of water pressure around the lungs between the two layers of pleura. Mind you, uh, normal breathing, uh, like in normal adults, the pressure is only minus 5 centimeters of water around the lungs to keep the lungs distended. But when a baby is born, the lungs are in a collapsed state. They were not functioning so far inside the uterus. But now they have to be distended. They have to start functioning. And therefore, the baby is crying uh, that vociferously, ferociously and uh, with a shrill tone and pitch. That is actually contraction of the thoracic cage muscles so that a great negative intrathoracic pressure is generated, minus 60 centimeters of water. So, the collapsed lungs will be slightly pulled open and then first breath will start, second breath will start, third breath and the negative pressure will now uh, decrease slowly as the lungs are expanding and expanding, expanding slowly and eventually the lungs will be completely expanded to their normal state and uh, the baby will breathe normally thereafter. So, uh, these are the two immediate challenges faced by a newborn and this is how the newborn overcomes. Really a fighter, the newborn being a fighter, uh, overcoming the challenges by doing these uh, quick things.